You might be forgiven for thinking there's nothing wrong with the software engineering profession today. Since the acceleration of digital transformations brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic, it's become a vocation of choice for many, and its product software has become more prolific than ever. Could the software engineering profession be heading for an iceberg below that seemingly glossy veneer? Didn't say get off before the iceberg on the ticket. What should software engineers be doing to stave off the apocalypse, as mentioned by Uncle Bob and others? In the ethos of clean code, are there just too many sloppy software engineers? If you look at software developers who are working in medical science, Toasty. space exploration, Toasty. or vehicle automation, Toasty. some of these overlap a lot now, don't they? They have disciplines and specific ways of working that are very rigorous and they're very conscientious and diligent about what they do. The problem is a lot of those methods aren't necessarily public. As it stands today, test-driven development is a really good general discipline for software development. It gives a reasonable level of safety and it's relatively easy to learn. There may be something better out there I just don't know what it is at the moment. But on that note, we should always be pushing to improve and innovate our disciplines. And some people genuinely think there is no basis for this argument at all, and there really is no problem. And that's an opinion they're entirely entitled to. Could that idea be born from a general complacency about software development? that we only need practices to ensure quality when the stakes are high. That's a bit like saying you only need to pack the parachute if you're planning on falling out of the plane. No more parachutes! There really shouldn't be a place for the happy-go-lucky developer in the same way as there isn't a place for a happy-go-lucky surgeon in the medical profession. We wouldn't want a different level of cleanliness taken for different surgical procedures based on experience of the person carrying it out or the perceived risk of that surgery, would you? And that's not an attitude that a surgeon or any other medical professional would condone. So why should we, as developers, make arbitrary decisions about what matters and what doesn't? Surely we should really treat all code exactly the same and make sure it's written well, regardless of whether it's there to turn on a coffee machine or to land a plane. There really can't be a correlation between quality and perceived potential for harm when it comes to writing code. Honestly, the worst thing that can ever happen to a software engineer is they get away with it. They get away with taking a chance, with cutting corners. Hell, we've even been praised for doing that. Done! Best thing that can happen if we cut a corner is we don't get away with it. It bites us in the We have an obligation to write code well. Code that's released without known defects. Not doing anything to check whether there's defects isn't not knowing. That's just negligence. If a surgeon left a scalpel inside of you because he didn't check, you wouldn't accept that as reasonable. So far, you may have noticed, or not, that I've used the term software developer and software engineer relatively interchangeably. A lot of engineers in the traditional sense, e.g. electrical, mechanical, or chemical, don't like software developers or computer programmers calling themselves engineers. And that does actually bring to light the attitude that other professions have on the software development profession and software developers themselves. Let's consider the aviation industry why would you hold whomever designs the fuselage to a greater or lesser engineering standard than the person who wrote the avionics software? Shouldn't software developers be held to account in the same way? Shouldn't we be considered as professional? In order to do that, we as software engineers need to start taking our profession seriously. We need to start having proper conversations about professional standards and bodies before we have it forced on us. Iceberg, right ahead! If you'd like to learn a little bit more about clean code and test driven development, why not check one of these videos out next? Trust me, everything's gonna be fine.